Mass readings for Sunday, January 28, 2024. Fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Lectionary, 71. First reading, Deuteronomy 18, verses 15 to 20. The Lord thy God will raise up to thee a prophet of thy nation and of thy brethren like unto me, him thou shalt hear. As thou desiredst of the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the assembly was gathered together, and saidst, Let me not hear any more the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see any more this exceeding great fire, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, They have spoken all things well. I will raise them up a prophet out of the midst of their brethren like to thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. And he that will not hear his words, which he shall speak in my name, I will be the revenger. But the prophet, who being corrupted with pride, shall speak in my name things that I did not command him to say, or in the name of strange gods, shall be slain. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Response, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come let us praise the Lord with joy, let us joyfully sing to God our Savior. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise to him with psalms. Response, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come let us adore and fall down, and weep before the Lord that made us. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Response, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Today if you shall hear his voice, harden not your hearts. As in the provocation, according to the day of temptation in the wilderness, where your fathers tempted me, they proved me, and saw my works. Response, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Second reading, 1 Corinthians 7, verses 32-35. But I would have you to be without solicitude. He that is without a wife, is solicitous for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please God. But he that is with a wife, is solicitous for the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. And the unmarried woman and the virgin think on the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she that is married think on the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I speak for your profit, not to cast a snare upon you, but for that which is decent, and which may give you power to attend upon the Lord, without impediment. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light, on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, Mark 1, verses 21 to 28. And they entered into Capernaum, and forthwith upon the Sabbath days going into the synagogue, he taught them. And they were astonished at his doctrine. For he was teaching them as one having power, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, what have we to do with thee, Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus threatened him, saying, Speak no more, and go out of the man. And the unclean spirit tearing him, and crying out with a loud voice, went out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What is this new doctrine? For with power he come in death even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And the fame of him was spread forthwith into all the country of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.